which expression represents this in simplest form. Notice we have x squared minus 25 here. That's a difference of two squares. So x squared is a square and 25 is a square. The difference though is found so easily we just basically um, add and subtract the two square roots of these two perfect squares. So here that will be your new de denominator here. And in the numerator we have something slightly more complex. It's x squared minus 3x minus 10. What factors of negative 10 add up to negative 3? Well, I would say negative 5 and, and 2, right? Because x minus 5 are using negative 5 and then x plus 2. If you multiply negative 5 and 2, you get negative 10. If you add them, you get negative 3. We're done. So here, um, we do a little bit of canceling out. The x minus 5s cancel out. We're left with the answer x plus 2 over x plus 5. Choice 2.